Anyway, my name's Lee Hoggett. Uh, a while ago, my son came up to me, asked me if I'd ever heard a song, Simple Man. Apparently, he'd heard some band playing it on the radio, and I go, oh, Leonard Skinner? He goes, who's that? Mm -hmm. Well, apparently, a, a band had done a cover of Leonard Skinner's Simple Man, and he asked me to teach mm -hmm. him how to play it, because it was one of the early songs I learned on guitar. It's a good song, uh, relatively simple. It's actually in the key of A, even though it starts off on a C chord, key, key of A minor, I'm sorry. A minor being the relative minor of C major. Uh, the chords are C, G, and A minor throughout the whole song, uh, even including the, the chorus and everything. So the uh, it's in four 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 fourths time, standard time. And the way to think about it when you're counting out the individual notes because it's uh, pregiated the chords the way the the guitarist played it and uh, Leonard Skinner and the way I think it's gonna say. Normally it would be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, as far as accounting on uh, four, fourth time. But the way I like to think of it, the way these notes are picked, it's more like a kind of a swing fill, and it's uh, it's four four beats with sixteen uh, sixteenth notes on it. So it'd be uh, one e and uh, two e and uh, three e and uh, four e and uh, one e and uh, two e and uh, three e and uh, four e accenting the ones the twos the threes the fours so basically it'd be uh, one two chords and uh, the way the the chords are appreciated starts off uh, up here on the fifth string the A string open string it's the second fret and then goes up to the C note which is the uh, you know the the one note and that's that's actually starting on the bar previous to that so it would be the and uh of the bar previous and leads in and the one of the the one would be on the beginning of the C chord. And it breaks the chord up into two three string groups. These three string groups and uh, this three string group. And he goes. Chord, you know, these two three string groups, the uh, the one, two, three, and then the then the five, I mean the yeah, the one, two, three, and then the two, three, four strings on the G, and then on the A minor it's the same two three string groups as the uh, C chord. And the the picking pattern is starts on the top string of the, of the first three string group and goes, can you see my picking finger here? You see it? So it goes. Again on the C. Then he goes to the G. Again. Again. And then uh, the E minor is. on the A minor is uh, when he gets ready to roll on, on the on the on the the four E and uh, on that bar he hits the the um, the minor the flat seven which would be a G and then so he goes and that sets up for the so at speed bars or I like to think of it as eight times through that grouping of C, G, A minor and then it goes to the chorus and the first time through the chorus he does this little riff uh, 
same little hammer on as if you were going to the C chord, he goes. So it starts on the second string here. Slides from the fifth fret on the second string up to the seventh fret and then back to the fifth and then goes. Hits the, hits the G on, on the first string there on the third fret. Onto the A, first string, fifth fret. Then he hammers on from the, the G to the A. So that's the. song but it's pretty obvious when you're listening to the song as far as what the pattern is and then the second time he goes to the chorus he just uh, I just strummed the, the chords it goes and he just and then back to the verses song because not only am I alternate picking, I'm string skipping using a pick. Another way you could do it is uh, hybrid picking where you're using your pick and your two fingers, uh, your middle and your ring finger, so you can kind of get uh, worked up sort of later on for doing a country type stuff, you know? like a, a banjo roll type stuff. But the uh, way I would do it with a hybrid picking, and it's good exercise because it exercises your fingers. Sounds like a full-size guitar. Need to change the strings though.